Tomorrow I'm leaving Florence to go back home to America after studying here for four months. Here are a few of my tips to help make the leaving process a little easier. Tip number one is to start your packing early. It's important to start early so that you can see how much space you have and how many things you might need to get rid of before you go home. Tip number two. There will be items that you've bought here in Florence that you don't want to take back or maybe you just don't have room. If you take them to the student advisory office in the last week of the semester, they will pass them on to charity. Tip number three, cleaning. You will need to leave the apartment clean and tidy as you found it when you arrived. If you run out of time to do so, you can pay for a cleaning service and they'll do it for you. Remember, you're going to want to get your deposit back after all. Tip number four, what to do with your books. Because space in our suitcases are very limited for our trip back to America, we've donated most of our textbooks back to the school, LDM. But some of my personal books that I don't have room to bring home, I'm going to leave here in my apartment so that the next students can enjoy them who live here after me. The other option for students who've studied here in Florence is to sell your books back to the paperback exchange near the Duomo. Tip number five is saying goodbye. But it's not just about saying goodbye to the people that I've lived with. It's about saying goodbye to this beautiful city that I've been able to call home for four months. It's about saying goodbye to all of the people in the cafes and my favorite restaurants and my favorite gelato spots. It's also about saying goodbye to some of the places of Florence, some of my favorites like the Pone Vecchio or Piazza del Michelangelo. And even though I'm really sad to be leaving, I know that I will definitely be coming back to Florence someday.